Oh boy, that was actually quite a, that was quite a nice weekend, I'm not gonna lie. So, um, my low, my high, my act of kindness. Actually, you know what? I know it's a bit of a cop out for my low, but I went to bed a little bit, like, a little on the late side for me, and I did not get a full eight hours of sleep. And the sad part is, I woke up when I really clearly didn't have eight hours of sleep, and I felt like yeah, I want to get up, but then I don't. And I wound up like, you know, almost 90 minutes later and, you know, it's 5.30. Yeah, sometimes I wake up throughout the night. It's, I don't know why. And the sad part is, like, I want to go back to sleep, but I can't. And now I do. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'll probably get over by the end of the day. Um, my high, well... It's pretty obvious. I got to see my nephews again yesterday, and it was wonderful to see them. Got to play with them for a while. Um, some people actually wonder what I do with my nephews when I play with them. You know, give them the old, you know, do peekaboo. Um, I actually once, I, I shared this once already, but I actually have once read a story to one of my nephews. That was great. Um, they really are starting, they're in that age where, like, they, well, to be perfectly honest, it's simply because of the pandemic and, you know, my brother and sister-in-law really won't let them see anyone that only just now are they starting to warm up to me as their uncle. Because you have to remember, like, they don't want, I mean, the babies are definitely the mo most prone to, you know, getting sick. So they really want to limit how often they're out, what they do, who sees them, you know, all that stuff. So, only just now, after me seeing them, you know, so many other times, or well, actually not even that many times, like, you know, I've seen them a lot, but again, they, oh, they're only starting to warm up to me now, which is nice. I really, I really like that. And, um, my uh, act of kindness was uh, I helped clean up after dinner because here's the thing: I saw my nephews yesterday, but they were visiting my pa my folks, and I was going to visit them anyway. So, yeah, it's pretty much what usually happens. But it was a great, great afternoon. I see my family; it was wonderful. We actually have some plans this upcoming weekend. It's going to be great, and yeah, I don't really have much else to. Uh, much else to comment on. This is actually a very great weekend overall. So, um, good morning and happy Monday, everyone. It was Monday, uh, yeah, it was, today is Monday, you fool. See, that's how tired I am. I already just forgot, like, what day it is. Oh, boy. It's gonna be one of those weeks, I bet, right? So, here's like the week that's supposed to be like 50 degrees out after so long, with it being this close to spring of all times, you know, call it serendipity or something, I, I, I don't know. So, anyway, last night, you know, after I got, after my uh, brother and sister took uh, my nephew's home, uh, you know, I had dinner with my folks. Uh, my mom actually made uh, burgers. Nothing fancy, just, you know, burgers. With uh, lettuce, tomato, and onions. And uh, actually, whenever my nephews do visit them, my mom will, you know, I mean, it's what any grandma does. You know, she likes to spoil her, spoil her grandkids. And one thing she does when they feed them, when she feeds them, is, uh, she has, like, those, like, little mini tater tots. Not, like, actual giant tater tots. Like, those really small tater tots. You can find them in any, like, supermarket or, like, grocery store. In the freezer section, obviously. And after, like, they left, we had those to substitute for, like, you know, fries. So, last night for dinner, I had burger and tater tot. Burgers and tater tots. 
It was sweet. Uh, and the best part is, like, some of these uh, tater tots are sweet potato tots. Mmm. That sounds incredible, doesn't it? Oh, man, sweet potato tots. Whew. I tell you, I think I might actually go get myself some a little bit later. I'll, I'll have to, um, I'll have to see about that. But, uh, for now, we are, um, it, uh, it's Monday, and thankfully, we have a new One Piece manga chapter out today. Let's get to the, uh, reaction, shall we? Oh! Oh! I almost, I almost fell. Oh, that was, that was scary. That was quite scary. Alright, and, uh-huh. Let's see. Okay. Oh, cool. Right before the right before the chapter cover, there's a huge color spread of the big name players of the Beast Pirates. All right, I like this. See. One thing about reading this manga is, it's going to be in black and white. So, I mean, so I know these characters look like, but without color, it doesn't really give me much to work with. I mean, they show a picture of who's who on here, and I had no idea he wears all red. So basically, he's Satan. Anyway, uh, you guys are going to see, I'm going to put a link to the description below anyway. Anyway, One Piece, Chapter 1006, The Honorable Hiogoro the Flower. Okay. Something I ever actually said last week is, I think at some point, this raid is going to conspire to the Grand Performance Room. And already it looks like that's what's going to happen. So... It looks like we're starting off with uh, Shinobu and Yamato and Momonosuke's group. Alright. That's actually one thing I think I'm starting to... Here's the thing, I like this group, I really do. But when you compare it to everything going on, this group really isn't doing much except keeping Momonosuke safe. They're basically playing keep away. Get it wrong. A keep away aspect of a story like this is good, but with so many other great things going on, especially in terms of battles and action, even some comedy, this is probably sadly the weakest part of this. I'm not saying this is bad, it's just everything else is just better, in my, my opinion anyway. Oh, great. So they're hiding Momonosuke on the back of Hiyagori, on the back of Yamato's, inside of Yamato's shirt, and it appears as if he's grinding on her butt. This child is supposed to bring about a new change in the world. The, the world is essentially riding on him while he's riding on... Yamato. Oh, great. Hopefully, sometimes it's just really weird that Oda wants to keep doing stuff like this. I mean, I get it's funny, and I get this with shock value to it, but it's starting to get a little old. Okay, I hope there's Sanji. All right, so, um, okay. Looks like Sanji's debating whether or not he wants to try and find Momonosuke or go to where Kinema and the others are like it was going last chapter. You know what would be great? We actually knew what he was about to do. Seriously, it just cuts to a panel of him just yelling this way, but we don't know where he's going. Well, sadly if I had to guess, he'll probably head to where Momonosuke is, which wouldn't be a bad thing. I mean, I would have liked to see him fight Jack and help out Kinemon, but it looks like he and everyone else, like I said earlier, they're all heading to the Grand Performance Hall. 
So considering that Hiogaro and Diaz Drake are manning the front down there, some extra quote unquote firepower from Sanji wouldn't really be a bad thing. Although I still want to see who fights Jack. Let's see. I mean, I could be wrong. Sanji just could be heading to the to the storage room and pinning on the other side. Okay. Oh, great, Paris Sparrow. And it looks like the fight between him and Carrot and Wanda happened off screen. And Paris Burrow won. Off screen. I mean, I get why it's off screen with everything going on. If they, if, if Oda actually took the time to draw out this fight, we'd be here a lot longer than we'd have to be, probably. But it looks like their Su Long form is worn out because the full moon was covered by clouds. But it's, again, it's just what Paris Burrow is saying right here. You know, it was a weather phenomenon that essentially sealed Paris Sparrow's victory. And, ooh. Paris Sparrow is grabbing Carrot by the neck with his prosthetic hand. The hand that Pedro took from him. Huh. This is sort of bringing the whole Pedro death thing full circle. Very nice. Although it does make sense. I mean, Wanda, I mean, sorry, Carrot and Pedro both wandered into Big Mom's territory and they thought they would get out on the skate. Paris Paris even saying this. Of course that wasn't going to work. Man, the more I, the more I see Paris Sparrow, I'm both always intrigued and disgusted by him. Because, here's the thing, he lied about the cake on, he lied about the wedding cake on Whole Cake Island which caused Big Mom to really go on her hunger tantrum, and that caused the art calamity. And Big Mom even said if he was lying, he died. This is why, that's why, pa that's why Paris Barrow is here. He's going to say something akin to like, you know, I lied about the wedding cake, and then Big Mom will hear this, and then, well, that's what I think is going to happen. Or maybe he'll get his just desserts some other way. No pun intended. Alright. Yeah, see? We're in the dome, the performance hall. Alright. Alright. He girl is back to what he used to look like. Although is that from Oh wait no, it's it's from the uh because he got infected with the uh, ice demon thing that Queen made. Ah boy. Okay. Mm hmm. Well, if it is fat, if it is true that he or Goro has to die because of this, I mean, it could serve as the Act Three of One of Tragedy. Then we can move on to Act Four. I mean, I hope I'm wrong because I like you, Goro. Uh huh. Okay. Huh. I like how he grow inside I find an interesting prod prodigy and Luffy or practice. Very nice. Wait. Is is Queen firing a laser out of his mouth? Queen is in his dinosaur form and he's firing a laser out of his mouth. Oh, he's about to, but then Marco you know, sort of took care of that. Wait, is that why Queen is as massive as he is? Because he modified his body with weapons? Can he fire the laser when he's in his human form? And where does the laser go when he's not using it? There are so many questions. Um, uh-huh. Ooh. Nice. King cut off one of Marco's wings. And Marco's like, no, I ain't having any of that. Nice. 
Mark is doing a great job taking care of both Queen and King. Very, very nice. Man. This is why Mark was the first division commander of the White Deer Pirates. He is that awesome. Oh, great. See, Paris Sparrow shows up again, and this makes, and this reinforces something. He doesn't have any alliance with the Beast Pirates. In fact, he doesn't have any alliance except to, towards Big Mom. Paris Sparrow could easily be just one giant chaos factor in the making. Okay? Looks like they're about to end the chapter with here, girl, deciding that. He's okay with being slain, the risk of turning into an ice demon. Well, I really like these last words. I leave the rest in your hands. Here ends the life of here go the flower with no regrets. End of chapter. Okay, um, there is a lot going on here. And don't get me wrong. It was about time we really got to see a greater scale of what's been going on throughout this raid, considering from chapter one, from like, there was like a, again, a four chapter essentially period of time where it, we were just on the roof. So it's nice that we've been having these couple of chapters to really give us, give us ideas as to what's been going on. I like that. It's actually building the story along and moving it along. Anyway, that's about it for right now. You're going to be seeing my folks later this evening, and, uh, you know, I think we're going to have a pretty good week. I mean, the Masked Singer's coming back on. Yes. The Go Big Show is going to end its first season with a bang. Yes. And, actually, we did celebrate my grandfather's birthday on, uh, Don Saturday, but his birthday is going to be Wednesday, which is the day that the Masked Singer premieres, so... Here's hoping Wednesday is going to be the best day of the week. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe button, follow me on Oh, actually, I hope, I hope today, I hope today is good too. And, uh, you know, I hope we all have a wonderful day. So, like, favorite, share, hit the, hit the subscribe button, follow me on the social media platforms. You know, I'm very humble to make this video for everybody else. Watch the joy for today. I hope we have a wonderful, wonderful Monday. And remember, if you guys want to talk to channel, we're going to be here to one day. I'll say back. Take care and make good choices today. See ya.